Hey guys, I thought I would film what I'm doing today. Since it's the start of the year, I wanted to get all of my hamster stuff clean. I've got like buckets of stuff from cage tours that are done with that I haven't got a chance to clean, as well as stuff that is clean but I want to re-clean it since the beginning of the year. And I'm also uh, working on a new organization system, so I just kind of want to get everything clean, even though every month when I'm done with toys, I clean them before I put them away. I just kind of wanted to re-clean everything. So I'm getting things ready. I have the puzzle playgrounds I'm going to start with first. So I'm starting to sort them out and then I've got like a bucket of the dirty toys and stuff. But I'm going to go take over my kitchen and spread everything out and clean them. I'm going to start with these and then do some hideouts and such. And so I thought I would just kind of vlog it for you guys so you guys can see like what the new uh, organization is going to look like and all of that stuff. So yeah. Okay, so I'm going to go get started and go lay everything out and clean them and I will update you guys later. Hey guys! Okay, update time. It's actually been a while. <laughs> Last night after dinner, um, everybody was out in the living room and it was noisy, so I didn't finish. And it was funny to get up this morning and see this on the counter. It's just like all this colorful stuff. Anyways, I think I've officially gotten all the hideouts and toys and such washed. They're just drying now. So now that everything is dry, I just need to start putting it away, but that means I need to be thinking of all the like areas and how I'm going to organize it and all that stuff. These are the dishes. There's not many dishes. Most of these are seasonal. It'll go in the seasonal uh, bucket. But yeah, like I'm, I have ideals of how I want to organize it because I got shelves for my closet, but I kind of have to decide like what goes in like um, drawers and what'll go on the shelf. All that stuff. But yeah, there's all that. So I'm going to put that away, then pull the tubes out and wash the tubes and all that kind of stuff, and then I'll be done. The tubes, at least I already have a basket for. It's just the stuff I have to sort out. But I think after the tubes, I'm pretty much done. I have like the rings and the tubes. And then I have the wood stuff, which obviously I can't clean, but I need to sort and organize that. So I have a lot of stuff to do today, but there is that. This is just pretty much everything I have for the hamsters, exception for whatever is in their cage, of course, which just pretty much is, you know, wheels, saucers, a couple hideouts. Because mostly for Christmas, they just have Christmas themed stuff. Okay guys, I thought I'd finish you guys through seeing all of the hamster supplies being cleaned. I didn't end up uh, filming cleaning the tubes and stuff. I just didn't honestly think about it or really feel like it. But I thought I would show you kind of sort of the end slate. Like, it's not quite the end of them being organized yet. But it's just kind of what I'm working on right now. It's just my closet, which is really kind of messy in here. So I apologize for that. But these shelves are what I put in here for the hamster stuff. And as you guys can see, this is like a little ceramic uh, cubicle. And the big ones go here, but as you can see, they're not there because they are in cages this month. <laughs> and there's a little posh. Then down here are the saucers, which I was hoping to combine the saucers with the wheels, but they just would not fit in one cubicle, which I kind of guess knew that was going to happen. But, oh well, you know, and the saucers really, <laughs> none of the saucers are in use this month. And then over here for the wheels, I actually am using a smaller wheel for Belle's cage this month just because it matched her theme. So this probably won't be as full next month. But either way, there's still room for more wheels if need be and saucers. And then up here is like the ceramic house shelf just because these are all kind of big houses. There's the barn and, you know, the gourd and then a little mushroom but at least there's room for another big one if you know i find one or something like that because i kind of wanted this you know whole entire storage just to be something that can grow i don't want it to already kind of be at its maximum point but anyways here are these drawers i'm going to start with the bottom one which is just kind of random toys the bigger stuff you know as you guys can see i'll probably go into more detail and maybe a hamster organization video when i'm done finishing it all if anybody wants to see that and then this top one is all hideouts and toys this is definitely one that's at capacity but you know all that sales i can move them down into the bottom one but it's just all different kinds of toys and hideouts in that so there's that and then up here which honestly there's not much room up here but it actually worked out kind of well just to store some stuff on as you guys can see uh, under the jeans is the ovo unit as you guys can see there and then this bucket right here it's just the treats and honestly I put that there so I can remember to clean it out because I do not use any of these I just all of that could be just thrown away but I've been keeping it up here to remember to do that 
this bucket just has all the little buckets with the oboe rings and caps and all that kind of stuff in it. And this one is missing the lid, so hopefully I can find that. And then this little bucket over here is all the uh, rings for the critter trails. And I'm thinking that I need to get a bucket maybe like with a lid or something on that as well. So that kind of marks this unit. And then if you turn over here, I've got these right here. And this bookshelf, which is a crazy mess, is just kind of non-hamster stuff. But then I've got this unit, which goes all the way up to the ceiling. And I'm enjoying that there's some open spots here because I want to be able to put some folded sweaters and some other stuff of mine. So not just hamster stuff, but at some point if it all becomes hamster stuff, it's okay because that's the point of it. So I can have room for everything. So I have two completely empty. I have this one, which is just a container with literally all the Ovo Dwarf stuff for that dwarf down here, that one. It's all the stuff I'm not using for it and I'm thinking about getting rid of it. I'm not sure yet, so it's just all completely there, everything I don't use. So there's that. And then there are these little containers which you guys are probably used to seeing, which has all of the playground stuff in it. And I really do need to probably get some kind of container with lids and find a source for that. And there's this thing, which I just... I made this ages and ages ago and I never even once used it, but yet I don't want to get rid of it because it's so kind of cute in a weird way. I don't know why, but it's there because I just need to get rid of it because I'm never going to use it. But I don't know, for some reason I like it. So yeah, there's that. And then way up here, these two containers are full of tubes. If I can show you guys, let me see if I can get them down. <laughs> okay, see so if you guys can see. They're just random little oboe pieces and regular pieces. This definitely is the messy drawer, but when a lot of the oboe pieces are in use right now. So when they're not, this drawer will probably be a whole lot more packed. Okay, and then if you guys can see here, they're all like straight tubes. I like this one's a whole lot more sorted. It is long tubes and then the little straight tubes and then some oboe pieces. So there's that, as you can see, it's pretty full. That's why I ended up using the second one. So I, it, you know, won't be a very full one, but that's okay. Put that. <laughs> okay, yeah, so there is that. So that's pretty much it. And then there's like these cubes here, which used to be in my bedroom. And I've been kind of debating on where to put them. And I think I'm actually going to hang them up here and use that for other stuff. Probably not hamster stuff. Although there's some fabric and stuff there that I use for the play pens and photo shoots and just random things there. But yeah, that's my crazy closet. But I think, honestly, I'm really in love with this new method. I think it really keeps it nice and organized in here and still gives me closet space, but yet, you know, storage as well. So I'm really, really happy with that. There's still some little... Okay, so my battery just died. So I'm trying to remember where I was at now that I've charged. But anyways, yeah. Uh, so I'll have these cubes and these. And they're going to be able to kind of grow with me. And I will be able to buy some stuff this year if need be or in the future. I mean, I really have a lot of hamster stuff. And I don't really need anything. And I don't really plan on buying much this year. But, you know, if a couple... You know, if something comes up for sale or some new items come out. I'd like to have room for them, but as I said, I don't really plan on buying much this year. I have definitely have lots and lots of hamster stories. But, so yeah, there's that. And then I also have the lingerie drawers, the little, like, brown uh, drawer set. I still use those for hamster stuff, those first three drawers, and that works out quite well for me. I also am using some storage buckets under my bed, which I actually might show you guys those before I put them away. But, oh, those drawers that I was keeping hamster stuff in, I should show you guys. Don't mind the room. It's kind of messy. Miss you guys. <laughs> but, uh, the drawers, actually, I've completely emptied them now. So, since all the hamster toys are not in them, obviously you guys can see it's completely empty. So, I'm thinking I will probably, like, give it to my siblings or give it away or... I don't know what with it, but I'm definitely going to be getting rid of that. So, that's kind of where all the stuff went was into the closet. So, Yeah. I don't know, as I said, I keep saying it, but I'm really happy with the way everything's becoming organized. It's put together, not kind of strung out all over the place. So I think it'll hold, be a whole lot easier to keep it organized too now that it kind of has a home. So yeah, but I guess let me know if you guys want to see the organization when it is completely done. Okay guys, to finish up the footage for this video, I decided to go ahead and show you guys the tubs that I keep under my bed and in storage. Just to kind of give you guys an idea of it. So yeah, this bucket, this first bucket is one of my holiday buckets. I have two holiday buckets. And what I did is I split the holidays up. And originally I wanted one bucket for Halloween, Christmas, and one for Valentine, Easter. And I keep one bucket under my bed, like where that blue tub is. Um, that's 
where this bucket normally goes. And I keep one in here and one in our storage. And then what I decided to do, or what I was hoping to do, was to have kind of half a year under my bed and then switch. But realistically, Christmas and Halloween are two very big holidays where I have a lot of stuff, so them going in one bucket would be a little ridiculous. So, this bucket is Easter and Halloween. And then my other bucket is Christmas and Valentine's Day. Alright, here is the next holiday box, which as you guys can see is a lot of Christmas stuff. It shares it with Valentine's Day, but I don't really have that much Valentine's stuff. So there's lots of room for Christmas right now, which is a really, really good thing because, well, there's a lot of Christmas stuff. Alright, and for the last bucket, this is not exactly holiday stuff as you guys can see. But this is just kind of what I call my big toy box per se. Um, jokingly that's what I call it because it kind of just has all the big stuff that I don't can't really store in my new organization. So yeah, it is a little crazy in here. I'm going to go ahead and forewarn you. It's kind of hard to keep it perfectly organized due to the amount of the stuff in it. So I have this little obo set that I have yet to build yet that's just been smashed in here. Okay, um, I don't know where to start. Okay, bag of nestables in here. There are some dishes, just that I don't think I'll use in the next few months, so I just go ahead and keep them in here. And this bucket is the other one that stays under my bed, so I can get to it pretty quickly if need be. There's the ovo piece. There is a castle. This is the other one of Emma's castles. We got both of them on clearance from Michael since they were broken, so there is that. And then there's the other one. This is the top to a purple piece, which you will see soon enough. There is the little space shuttle, which is a very big toy. I have future plans for it, so I'm trying to keep it, but it's really hard because it's humongous. Um, there is one of the levels. <laughs> There's that. Um, here are just some random pieces of levels from his old cage that have come apart. So, there's like some poles from the levels. Stairs. Uh, dowel pieces that I've taken off of previous levels. A uh, rock, and then here is the top of his. Oops, sorry. There's the top of his old level from his old natural cage, and here is the what we call the treehouse level. And under this is a storage, which I will dig out. There's this piece that goes to that glittery piece. There are some cutouts from things I've bought and that I have kept. I've actually really gotten rid of a lot of it, guys. Like if anybody remembers from like a really old uh cleaning vlog or whatever, I was cleaning out some of that. And I have really done. I've cleaned it out. Um, okay. There are some Monster Ink tubes that I just go ahead and keep in here because these I have not used yet. And I got them on like super clearance, so I picked up a few. This clear container has just a bunch of random different things in it. I will save that last. And then if you guys can see there is some of the purple stuff. The other thingy, whatever you want to call it, that I keep under there. Okay, and this thing, as you can see, just has some random little pieces to it. There's a thing of Velcro, a just odds and end pieces to things, a bag of nestable stuff. There is the little nose sucker, and just yeah, random pieces of things that I just go ahead and I keep in that clear container. So this bucket is pretty full right now, as you guys can see. Yeah, but um, Stitch will be getting a new, not really new, but a, a natural theme again here really soon. And that should definitely empty up a lot of space in here. And I can store some more things in here and actually have a little bit more space. So I'm actually looking forward to that. <laughs> Babe, really? I, I, we're just going to go with it? Okay, we're just going to go with it. Okay guys, so if that was it for this vlog, I hope that it wasn't too boring and that maybe it gave you some ideas for some organization for your hamster stuff. So yeah, if you would like to see in detail what's in these boxes, maybe like a detailed holiday collection or something like that for the hamster stuff, or if you guys would like to see an updated organization for the hamsters when it's fully finished, let me know and I will definitely film a video for that or anything else you guys would like to see just let me know thanks for watching guys bye